you know, we appreciate our young people today. And, you know, I thank God for what he's doing in Kiwi. I trust he's doing great things in your life, wherever you may be. And, you know, and all it takes is just surrender to him. And, you know, it says he's blessed and shall overtake you. You know, little Shania would say, sings that turnaround song, every time I turn around, I get a blessing. And, you know, sometimes we just need to make turnarounds. There's turnarounds in our life. And she gave a testimony uh, that over a year ago she was in revival and made a turnaround. And then she gave another testimony, uh, uh, you know, several months later that she'd made a turnaround. And then uh, she's uh, been coming to church some, and, and she's talking about how, how that God was uh, elevating her to a higher level. And folks, he will. And, you know, and, uh, we need to learn to wait upon the Lord. A lot of times we, uh, people get started too fast, and their things become shipwrecked. But, you know, I believe in God for great things. And we've been established upon a, you know, a solid foundation. And uh, we've, uh, you know, we've had uh, different pastors over us. And I thank God for each, each one of the leaders that I've had. But we want, want if you've got your Bibles, we're going to look at 1 Peter chapter 1 and, and talk about the inheritance. And we started on this last night. And we're going to look at it. And we, we'll just, just preach a little while. But, you know, God has given us some great things, a lot of great promises. And, you know, when we, he said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will. A lot of times we want to walk in our own way. And then we will pray and seemingly God ain't even listening to us. But, you know, we need to live in a place that, that we're accustomed to having our prayers answered. If, if we don't get an answer, then we're going to pray. While to Daniel... I believe with all my heart, he, he expected God to answer his prayer. It said that God gave Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, that he gave them all wisdom. But Daniel had a, uh, another gift, and that was to interpret dreams. So here he is. He's a man that, that when he prays, he gets answers from God, and God reveals through dreams and through visions the answer. So here he is. He prays and seeks God, and it says for 21 days he hadn't heard from heaven. But, you know, he just held on. I believe if it had been 20, you know, 22, 23, 30, 40 days. But Daniel was used to getting his prayers answered. And we need to live in a place that when we pray, God's going to move and God's going to answer. And also, God answers every prayer, yes, no, maybe, and wait. So we have to know the difference. Father, today I pray, add your blessings to the word. I pray for those under my voice. And I pray for Benny Lankford today. Remember him, his mom, his family, his wife, his children. In Jesus' name, and amen. It says, verse 3, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and fades not away, reserved in heaven for you. And last night we, we preached on we have inherited a kingdom, and the church, and, and there's something I didn't share last night, the church is people, number one. Number two, it's people together. Number three, it's people together worshiping. They're sharing. They're learning and growing. So we've even heard of the kingdom, power over enemies, and healing. And, and you know, it's good news today that we've been redeemed from the curse of the law, Christ being made a curse. So today, you know, we may have sickness in our life, but Christ would, he would that we would prosper and be in health. God wants us to be in health. And, folks, you know, the enemy will tell us we've got to die of something, but really we don't. We can just, you know, when it's a, a allotted time, then God can call us home. It says, Ain't it walked with God and was not because God translated him that he should not see death. Before his uh, translation, he had the testimony that he pleased God. Do, do you please God today? You know, to Abraham, it, it don't even say that he was had a sickness, but he just folded his legs up and gave up the ghost after he blessed his children. So, you know, it's important today how we live, and it's not only to run well, but to finish well. Also, it says needs met. He shall give his angels charge over you, number one, to protect you. And, you know, can you imagine, We well, a lot of times we want to fight and defend ourselves, but if we'll let God do our fight and let God fight our battles. And it says no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up in judgment God shall condemn. So it's important that we let God fight our battles, and that way we won't have, uh, we won't have hatred, 
We won't have revenge. I mean, you know, there's just so much to it, but if we'll let God do our fighting. And, you know, we had a prophecy this year that God said, I'll be your soldier. Can you imagine Joshua? He said he's the captain of the Lord God of hosts. He's the captain of the armies in heaven. And, folks, if God be on our side, it says, if God be for us, then who can be against us? Also, to protect you, number two is to provide for you daily bread. You know, and God has promised us bread enough for today and also for tomorrow and the next day. And, you know, to Israel for 40 years he fed them, the manna and the quail, the water, and also their clothes didn't even wear out. Boy, that, that's pretty great, ain't it? But, you know, to, to God and and, and uh, some ladies at church said they had shoes for years and years and years because they just didn't wear out. So, you know, when God's blessings are upon something, then stuff will last. Also, number three, to, to feed you daily bread but also to provide shelter and you know god wants us to have a home and a house and a place to live and if it's a mobile home then just praise god hallelujah if it's just a shack by the road just praise god and and folks uh, you know I, I was telling the young people in my class and i said you know said we can live without electricity we don't i mean it's tough we can live without running water but but we can i mean it's really not it's a it's a uh, i guess uh 